All right, <laughs> here we go. Okay. All right. This is, okay, this is deep sea. This is just the Celadon. And my next one I've got coming in is, is smoke, so I wanted to compare. That's nice. It really turned out. I did a whole set of these. Lovely. I believe this is jade. And I made another one to match down below. I made that stamp. That's cool. Nice. How did you make the stamp? I made it by rolling a circle and then pushing it down flat and doing little carves in it and then adding a handle. I did a bunch of these. That one turns out one of the best. It's kind of like a flower. Put my own stamp. It's kind of neat to have your own piece of pottery and then the stamp on it is what you made as well. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this is um, uh, it's a, uh, a Mako. It's um, indigo rain, I believe it is. It's a matte. And I just thought I'd do three of them in this because it's a, a neat uh, matte white <laughs> indigo rain. Cool. Nothing blended with it. Getting through the uh, egg separators for my daughter's wedding papers. <laughs> Okay, I refired this one. I added, I wanted to get this look and it worked. This is actually midnight blue and snow. And I wanted that, that uh, ripply snowy look. So I added another layer and it's more like what I like. That's nice. Yeah, that's the effect I wanted. And, uh, oh, cool. I love it. That's fantastic. Another successful blue midnight seaweed and oatmeal. That's great. A little bit smaller than I usually make, but some people actually seek those out. I have some people asking for that. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness, that turned out pretty drippy. That is um, part of a sushi set, I think. No, no it's a plant pot. Holes and in the bottom? Holes in the bottom. That's okay then. And little plant pot, little lagoon, emerald falls, and seaweed. Oh yeah, blue. I love blue lagoon emerald flowers. That's so pretty. And I put seaweed to get it drippy. And yes, it's drippy. All right. And snowflakes. Now these are little. Are they the same type? Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah these are. I a load wouldn't be the same without filling my extra spaces with these. And then I put wires and beads on them, and they're really pretty. I used to do a lot of beading, so that's that's my jade part of the set. That's pretty. I love it. That's cool. This set and the plant base. Nice drippy. Goes with this. I'll put succulents in it. All right. <laughs> really nervous. Um, my ancient jasper. I don't see any cracks. Um, I've had a bad luck with these. That's okay. It's good. It's good. It's good. Oh, that's so pretty. That's awesome. Oh, <laughs> yeah, but it's it's okay. There's no cracks. I love it. That's um, my daughter and her husband won a dinner set like this, so that's gorgeous. Oh, that's yeah, ancient Jasper. I said that. Oh, okay. I wanted to try. Oh gosh, I've got to look this up. It is uh, one of the gold ones. It's a Amico. I wanted to experiment with saturation gold, and I want to see what it looks like, and this is 100% saturation gold. How many coats? Uh, it would have been three. Three. And it's just the Amico. I want to see how it looks. That's really, really pretty. Good. Uh, gold! And it's food safe. It's really cool. And this was uh, birch and saturation gold. Fine. It probably looked better if I deliberately tried dripping. I just did even coats. I just wanted to see what effect that would get. And um, this, yeah, it's uh, honeycomb, it's manganese on the top, <laughs> look at his hairdo, and uh, gray opal. Yeah, nice. Oh, look at this little dude. <laughs> I love it. And, okay, that's the, uh, um, that's the mat, um, indigo rain. And... I think I did, uh, it was just the um, same as this, uh, deep sea. Just three coats, maybe four of the Celadon. They need a lot of coats. To... And the last part of 
Ward and Mimi sushi set. <laughs> I've been making sushi sets and uh, people were buying several pieces of them, but I've given them little sake glasses and soy sauce plates. And now finally they've got two of these and a rice bowl. That's really pretty. That's uh, reinforced celadon. That's gorgeous with this rolling pin. It's perfect. Yay. Nice. Awesome. And all of this is my favorite rolling pin. It's my nicest rolling pin. And I set these. I just call them little hors plates. And it turns out really nice with that texture. That's awesome. Okay, a whole bunch of mugs. Okay. Um, oh, okay. I gave one to Brahman like this, only reversed, and she loves it. Um, that's Galaxy. That's Norse Blue. And that is... Um, Surprise? No, 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 not at all. No, it's a Celadon. It's the Peacock. Yeah. That's really nice. Yeah! I did hers reverse and she loves it, but I thought we'd give that a shot. That's awesome. A little squatty mug. Nice. And that is the same as my egg separators. Honeycomb, blue opal, manganese on the rim. You know, it just depends on how thick my coats are. That one is a lot more of that uh, honeycomb coming through, which is very pretty. Love it. And... Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, that's neat. Okay, what did I do? It is, um, okay. Hmm. Um, this one could be. I tried. Um, I've got a little bit of river rock left, and I think that's what it is, and textured turquoise. So I had seen uh, somebody on Instagram who did river rock and textured turquoise. That is stunning. That is a dynamic thing. I might have to buy more river rock. I thought I was done with it. Oh, that's really good. Oh, my. <laughs> Isn't that great? Mm -hmm. Oh, yum. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And. Oh, good. Cool. Oh, okay. That is um, Norse Blue, uh, Winter Wood. And I think I did. Um, it wasn't uh, honeycomb. I mean, uh, oatmeal. It's the uh, flux. Just light flux. And that turned out really nice. I'm always afraid of light flux or any fluxes because they, I think oatmeal runs enough. I'm just scared of it running right off my, my mugs. I do this really deep room now, my safety catch. Cool, I like it. Okay, good. Okay, ooh, okay. Um, definitely oatmeal there. What did I do? Uh, oh, winter wood nurse blue, oh. Yeah, maybe this. This is winter wood Norse blue. And flux. Oh, that's pretty. I think it's pretty dark though for Norse blue. I'll get them straight, but that's cool. Very nice. Lots of oatmeal ripples on that one. I'm, I remember doing it with oatmeal ripples. So what, if it's oatmeal on the top, then what is it? Oh, I'll figure it out. I wrote them down. That's cool. One more. What have I got? Oh, okay, cool. Oh, that's very nice. Um, honeycomb, north blue dip, winterboard. I'm not even sure which one. North blue. That could be north blue dip. One is completely dipped in Norse blue and I don't know, it doesn't matter, pretty. I'll get it straight in case somebody really likes it. I'd like to record what they bought. That's nice, great, nice. Some new stuff I've tried, some new ones. This one I'd say, this is my favorite. That is cool, wow. River Rock and Texture Turquoise. Yeah. And that's a really fun one. That's just a blast. That's a good one too. That's great. Well, they all are. They're really neat. I, I would like, for the first time, I'm just trying winter wood. Um, so this one's got to have winter wood on it. 